I'm standing in the middle of Mumbai's biggest Ganpati Visarjan spot. Here, thousands dance the tune played by thousands. Thousands bid adieu while thousands pull chariots. But for all this to happen very smoothly, there are 50,000 police personnel working round the clock behind the scenes. And this one is with Mumbai police who are managing the Visarjan successfully. It is a mammoth uh, gathering of uh, people and uh, you know the devotees uh, during the festival time. And planning, execution of Vandubar's deployment and in fact anti-terrorism uh, point of view and the security point of view, it is one of the biggest challenge for Mumbai police. For the entire Bandobas, 12 companies of State Reserve Police Force, members of Force One and Quick Reaction teams, and around 5,000 volunteers from different NGOs have been deployed. Mumbai is a network of 13 zones, 93 police stations, and five regions. Each zone has a dedicated team to coordinate with mandals. These teams report to the zonal offices, which further report to the regional offices. And ultimately, all information is passed on to the police headquarters of Mumbai. Apart from their ground duties, the Mumbai police proactively respond on social media. Five to 10 tweets every single minute. Routes to take, routes to avoid, addressing the public's queries and helping them enjoy the festivities. Most of the policemen are on duty for more than 24 hours during the final and longest day of Visarjan. We've explored all the multi-facets of what makes Ganesh Chaturthi a successful festival in Mumbai. And I think it's very important to remember each and every individual who contributes to making it a safe and secure festival.